Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today we're going to look at how we can deal with nulls. Um, now I have done a video previously on nulls and tried to explain what nulls are. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. I've also done a previous video with is null um, and I will put a link to that as well. Um, but today we're going to look at is null and also we're going to look at something new called coalesce. Um, in this video, I'm going to assume you know kind of what a null is. Um, and if you don't, like I said, I'll, I'll put a link to that other video uh, in the description of this. It, it's worth having a look at. So on screen, you can see I've got a, a basic table with four rows, um, various null values in some of those cells. Actually, what I want to return is just four columns. I want to return a column that's either address one or two, I want to return a column that's either town or city. I want to return the postcode and I want to return a single column that is some sort of contact information. Um, so if we're dealing with, um, let's start with me wanting to return just the address one or two. I don't want to return them both. I want to return a single column with address one or address two, whichever's got information in. So to do that, I can, um, if I just do, I can say uh, is null address one ad dot address two. And I'll call that address. Now, if we look at that, what is null does is is null takes two values, and if the first value is null, it will return the second value. If the first value isn't null, it will return the first value. So in this case, this isn't null, so it's returned it. Um, this is null, so it's returned that. And you can see um, it's done the same here for address um, two. So is null is nice and um, straightforward. If the first value is null, return the second value. Otherwise, return the first value. And we can do that for the next um, town and city that we want to deal with as well. So let's put um, town ad dot city and I'll just put um, and now if I run that we now get um, a town or city regardless of where this this state is held it'll return um, the first non-null value between those two. Now if they're both null it'll return null. It's got nothing else that it can do. It only accepts these two values. And that's a little bit limiting. So let me just add a third value here for our postcode. Oops, I don't want to do that. It's just, um, honestly, if I could type postcode. So that's all fine. Now, this one here, this last value, what I want to do is I want to return the just a single value for a contact but i want to return um the phone if it's there otherwise i want to return the email if it's there otherwise i want to return the contact so if i just begin that um because is null returns except only two values we, we can't use is null so we're going to use this thing called coalesce and what coalesce does is it says right give me any amount of columns you like and I'll return to you the first value that isn't null. Okay, so if we just put in there from AD email, AD contact. If I run that, what it now does is it says, all right, um, is this in the first row, uh, is this null? No, it's not, I'll return it. In the second row, is this null? Yeah, it is. Is this null? No, it's not. I'll return it. So the very first value between in this order, it comes across that isn't null, it will return it. Um, this bottom one, there are no values. So what I can do actually is I can add a fourth entry here and say, all right, if that's null and that's null and that's null, return me an empty string. And that's what that does. You can put any amount of uh, values in there so maybe I don't want an empty string maybe I'll just put um, to be confirmed and if I run that um, that bottom one now has to be confirmed or I could say all right if all of those are null return me the postcode um, if I wanted to 
Um, and there it is. Um, if I said return me the town, well, the town's still uh, null, so I'm still going to get null here. So I can then add a fifth value and say, okay, return me an empty string. So it will go in the order of phone, email, contact, in this order from left to right until it finds a value that is not null and it will return it. Um, nice and quick. Um, hopefully that made sense to you. If you've got any comments, any feedback, please uh, leave them. Any feedback's helpful. Thanks very much for your time. See you next time.